All right, geometry. So six, four properties of rhombuses, rectangles, and squares. The one thing I want you to keep in mind is that rhombuses, rectangles, and squares are all parallelograms. These three shapes are still parallelograms. All right. So be aware of that. So all of the properties of parallelograms apply to these three shapes. Um, but each of these three shapes has just a little bit extra. Okay. Makes them extra special, just like each and every one of you, extra special. Okay, so uh, what makes a rhombus special? Well, a rhombus is a parallelogram with four congruent sides. So rhombus is a parallelogram with four congruent sides. Dash, dash, dash. I'm going to go ahead and construct one for you in uh, Desmos Geometry. So to do this, we'll start with a segment. And then I'm going to make a ray going up like this. Now i got to make sure all the sides are the same. So I'm going to use a compass. I'm going to choose this as my segment. Uh, I'm going to choose that as my point. This is a negligent point. This is the point I want. So these two sides are now congruent. All right. And I will hide this circle. Now I'm going to make a, uh, oh, I'm undo that. I need this point right there. Okay, so now I'm going to make a parallel line to this segment through this point. So construct parallel line. There we go. Again, I'm going to use another circle, another compass to make the length of that line uh, so that, again, all the sides are congruent. So compass. There we go. I need this point here. And then connect with a segment. And there is my rhombus. I'll do that with a parallel polygon tool. There we go. And there's the rhombus. Let me hide everything else. Boom. Cool. And again, if I measure this, all four sides, look, 3.89, 3.89, 3.89, 3 3.89. Now I'm going to move this off to the side. We'll talk about it in a little bit. Okay. Next. We have a rectangle, and the special thing about a rectangle is that it is a parallelogram, but it has four right angles. You can also say it has four congruent angles, uh, but again, I like the idea of four right angles. So here they go, right, four right angles. So let's go ahead and construct that in Desmos geometry. So a little bit easier than the, uh, a little bit easier than the rhombus. So here's my bottom side. Uh, let's go ahead and construct a perpendicular right there. Uh, I can pick a point wherever I want to. I'll pick it right there. And now we'll do another perpendicular right there. There we go. And I'll do a, a pair, another perpendicular right here. Right? So all these perpendiculars, and that's how I get my rectangle. I'll make a polygon. And there's my rectangle. I'll hide these. Hide these lines, don't need them. Good, and there's your rectangle. And again, what makes it a rectangle? Four right angles. Let's just double check. There we go, and that's how I constructed it. Okay, next. Last but not least is a square. And if you notice a square, a square is a parallelogram with both four congruent sides and four right angles. It is it is the marriage of a rhombus and a rectangle. So I always say if they had a baby, they would get a square. Now I'm not gonna construct a square uh, because as you'll see, a square just has all of the properties of everything. It doesn't have its own properties. It has the properties of everything. A square is a regular quadrilateral, if you're keeping track. So it is pretty much the most perfect of the quadrilaterals. So again, here's my Venn diagram, the fact that when you blend a rhombus and a rectangle, you do get a square. So keep that in mind that if something is a rhombus and something is a rectangle, then it's a square. All right. So here are some other special properties of a rhombus. First, its diagonals are perpendicular. So these are for a rhombus, both of these. So the diagonals are perpendicular. Again, when you think of perpendicular, you need to think of right angles, right? It forms right angles. So let's verify this on 
Desmos geometry. So if I come here, let me draw in my diagonals. Segment here, segment here. Let me put an intersection point right there. And let me lay, let me measure one of those angles at that intersection point. I'll measure this one right here. And there we go, 90 degrees. And all four will be 90 degrees. So it's true, okay? The other special property of a rhombus, and again, these are for rhombuses, rhombus, is that you have a diagonal that bisects a pair of opposite angles. So in this picture here, right, you have AC bisecting angle A and angle C. Now, because a rhombus is a parallelogram, the big angle A and the big angle C are congruent as well. So if you take a diagonal, it's going to bisect a pair of opposite angles into four smaller angles, but all four angles are the same. So these two congruences are the same. Same here with seven, eight, four, and three. Those four are the same. So you technically have, you know, two, two sets of four congruent angles. So let's go ahead and figure that out on Desmos geometry. So I'm just going to use, I'm going to use uh, this diagonal here. So I'll measure this angle up here, 61. So this one next door should be 61. I'll measure this angle down here. It should be 61. I'll measure this one right here. It should be 61. Uh, and again, I can measure these ones. I'm not going to. So that's the idea of bisecting a pair of opposite angles. Okay. All right. And then what about our rectangle? Well, a rectangle has one special property, and that special property is that for a rectangle, your diagonals are congruent. So these two guys, A, C, and B, D, are congruent. And if you think of it with a, a rectangle, you're taking a parallelogram, and you're tilting it upright, so it's perpendicular. So in a parallelogram, the diagonals were not congruent, but because you're tilting it upright, now your diagonals are congruent. And let's just verify last thing in Desmos geometry. Uh, so here's my rectangle. Let's draw in those diagonals. Here they come. And we have 7.76 and 7.76. Now, think about this. Because, because it is also a parallelogram, remember the diagonals bisect each other. So what's going to be true about all four of these parts? Well, all four of these parts should be congruent because when you take two segments that are congruent and you bisect them, you get four congruent segments. So let me see if I can do that. I don't know if it's going to let me. So there's that one segment. Let's see. Oh, there we go. So that's 3.88 half of 7.76. And let's measure. So that one is on this diagonal. So let's measure this one right here. There's a segment. There we go. 3.88, right? So think about this triangle right here. It's isosceles. You have two congruent sides so you're going to have two congruent angles down here so again a lot of a lot of cool a lot of cool relationships and if you're in honors you get to explore these cool relationships a little bit more if you're in regular geometry um you get to explore them some but not as further as if you were to take honors okay all right so i'll follow this up with at least one video if not two videos uh doing some problems involving rhombuses rectangles and squares